I got the recommendation for BRC. I called and the, uh, the person on the other, other end of the phone was extremely kind, listened, um, uh, compassionate, uh, told me how he would take care of him, that he would be uh, um, detoxed and, and uh, everyone would be watching him all the way through, that he would be uh, well taken care of. When he was using, he was just uh, almost like a blank look or a blank stare on his face. He was uh, not even there. I mean, I would ask him questions and he would answer, but he, uh, he, he was just, um, I don't know, he was in another place and I couldn't reach him. But he escalated to using heroin and he was using needles. And he wasn't doing that before, but over a couple of months, he started doing that. And I think it's because he couldn't afford or whatever, because he changed jobs. When I realized that that's what he was doing, it was like that this death came over me, like, oh my God, I got to deal with this again. We went to a relative's house, we went to a party, and all our family was there. And uh, Spencer went with us, and uh, we got to the party, and he disappeared. And, you know, I got this bad feeling and I went upstairs looking for him and I, I found him in the bathroom using him. And uh, uh, it just killed me. I just, I didn't know what to do. I almost thought I was going to pass out. So I um, went downstairs and I had this white sheet on my face. <laughs> and my, my husband looked at me and he knew. He said, what's wrong? I go, we have to go. We have to go. We were at my brother's house and I said, we have to go. And he said, what's wrong? I said, it's Spencer, we gotta get him out of here. The next day was Christmas Eve and uh, Christmas Day was not great. You know, we, we caught him using on Christmas Day. We're trying to open presents and we caught him using. Um, it, it was terrible. It was difficult getting him to go, but the person on the phone even talked to him and explained to him what the treatment would be like and how Everyone there was kind and compassionate, and he could sleep if he wanted to. And uh, and he went, and uh, he hasn't looked back. He's really so grateful for. Uh, he's made a lot of friends. Uh, he has people in the program that he respects, and uh, um, he's even said that he has friendships that he'll probably have for the rest of his life. So I. You know, I am so happy. Uh, now we can move on with our lives. We can sleep uh, soundly knowing that he's, 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 he's in a better place and that he's well taken care of. I don't have any worry at night that he's not in his bed or he's not uh, um, using. Um, I know that he's happy and he, uh, I think that's the biggest thing when he got into treatment is that I felt comfortable that he was being watched and well taken care of. Thanks to the staff at VRC, uh, you know, the doctors, the counselors, the even the patients themselves uh, talk about, the kids talk about what a great place it is. They said, oh, I love it here. So